That was absolute poetry. Oh my goodness me. I apologise if I sound very hoarse, but that's the most I've celebrated a win ever. Um, <laughs> in terms of the game, it's pretty difficult to analyse it at the moment. I'm still buzzing. And I hate using that word buzzing, but that's literally how I, literally how I feel. Um, with... <laughs> oh... <laughs> To have players like Ruben Neves in a Wolf shirt still baffles me. He's unbelievable. He's the best player I've ever watched play for Wolves. And the way we defended today, I can't believe Connor Cody's the same player, the same person that was playing at right back for us last season. I can't believe Matt Doherty and how important he is to our team. I can't believe how good Willie Bolly was tonight. Cardiff, with all their massive players, were scared of him. And with all the slagging off that has gone his way since mid-February, mid-January, John Ruddy has had the game of his life there. He didn't have a lot to do, and again, didn't fill me with confidence when they were putting crosses into the box. But making... I mean, I haven't seen them. From our end, I'm not sure whether he did save that first penalty or he hit the post, but I think he saved it because the corner was given afterwards. Um, and then in between the two penalties in stoppage time, he made a magnificent save where it looked like he scooped it out of the net. Um, but just the general character, and that's a word that Nuno's used a lot all season, character. And it's something that, you know, we can all learn from. We can all, in everything that we do, and I try and instill it in my class when I'm teaching them and they laugh and they bored of me talking about the Wolves. But... To show that much character, to go to a place like Cardiff, who was so good in the league, and to come away with a 1-0 win in such a vital game, in a cup final, basically. The, to me, before this game, the winner of this game was going to win the league. And that still remains the case. I think Wolves tonight have won the league. To be nine points clear, all right, Cardiff have got a game in hand. I can't see Wolves dropping that many points. And, you know, promotion all but confirmed tonight as well. I'm a massive Sheffield Wednesday fan. I've always, always loved them. And if they could do me a favour tomorrow night against Fulham, then that would be much appreciated. Um, it's been an emotional weekend for me as well, coming back to Wales, having made a massive decision about nearly a year ago now. But tonight and events over the last couple of weeks have made me realise that, yes, I've 100% made the right decision. And nights like tonight don't come around very often as a Wolves fan and we've just we've got to enjoy it we're top of the league we're nine points clean we've got 89 points with still with still five games to go we could end up you know with 100 and whatever 105 is it 104 amazing consider where we were a year ago and now consider where we are it's unprecedented and nobody predicted this at the start of the season, nobody I know said, yeah, we're going to win, win the league, we're going to rob the league. We have shown magn so much amazing character and skill and tenacity. And, oh, I mean, I'm genuinely in love with lots of those players. And I'll probably watch this video now tomorrow and think, what, what the hell was I talking about? But... <laughs> Unreal, unreal. And when they were given that second penalty, there was a little part of me that thought, they're not going to score this. They're not going to score. Um, to try and come back and to talk properly about football for a minute, we've now seen in the last couple of weeks, Fulham, Villa and Cardiff, all in their own grounds, all, you know, away from home. And considering the Cardiff is second in the league, they are the worst of the three and... The way they've played now, I watched them on Monday night against Sheffield United and then tonight, they look tired and they look like, they remind me a lot, driving back now um, to where I'm staying tonight, they remind me of Leeds this time last year where they were exhausted as well and they were running out of ideas. They didn't have a plan B today, uh, Cardiff. They were lumping the ball forward and Bennett and Bolly and Cody dealt with it all night until the last two or three minutes. Um, but it's a little, for me... 
I think it's really interesting another race for second place, particularly if Fulham win tomorrow night. Um, but Cardiff, they really lacked ideas and they were underwhelming. I knew they were strong defensively and they just tried to catch the odd goal. And they, you could argue that they were unlucky tonight, but also Wolves could have won 3 or 4 nil easily. The chances of Bonatini and Costa missed. Um, but, yeah, so Cardiff, a little bit concerned for them. But I think they've probably got enough to get over the line. But they have got a really tough game now against Villa coming up next. But this is a Wolves channel. This is a Wolves video. And I am delighted. I'm delirious. I'm over the moon. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the people who shouted out their cars at me. Um, a little bit surreal and um, flattering. Uh, don't forget, if you, this is the first video that you've watched, then like it, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you before the derby game where hopefully I've calmed down a little bit and but I've still got this big smile on my face thank you very much goodbye <laughs>